Hello friends, once again welcome to my channel. Let's start our discussion, today's discussion on lateral sifting or you can say lateral displacement in a glass slab. So let me show you a glass slab right now. So this is a glass slab. You can see the side uh, walls you can say are parallel. So this is a glass slab. So how we will get a lateral sifting condition in a glass slab? As you know if this is a glass slab this is my normal here is my incident ray then at this interface there will be refraction since this is a rarer medium and this one is a denser medium the ray of light will bend towards normal so it is bending towards normal now at this point here is I am drawing another normal here the ray of light is traveling from denser to rarer medium if it is traveling to denser, denser to rarer medium, it will bend away from normal. So you can see, this is bending away from normal. Now if you retrace the path of the original incident ray, this is the path. The distance between the original path of the incident ray and the emergent ray is called lateral sifting this is the your lateral sifting or lateral displacement you can see so i am going to show you experimentally how we are going to see this lateral sifting in my screen so this is my screen i have mounted over there i am going to show it through using a laser so this is a laser i have just taken a laser i am just mounting over here Let's just keep uh, use a thermal so that we can easily we can easily just move it. You see, if the laser is switched on, we can see the image on the screen at a particular point. Now I'm just moving this one in front. You see the variation. I am doing it fast so that the variation can be seen easily. So this is the path of the beam. You can see this point I am just marking over here to a black color. I am taking this in front. Now you see the very variation. You can see it very easily. If there will be a change between the source and the glass lab, the distance between them then there will be no change in the lateral septing but if the angle changes uh, then there will be a change in produced in the lateral displacement at the black color dot the laser is con laser is just focused now you see the difference that means there is the occurrence of lateral sifting. I hope so this is clear. You see, I am doing it fast. You can just understand. Though it is very small, but there is sifting. So this is our today's discussion. That is how we can get the lateral sifting or how we can see the lateral sifting or lateral displacement by using a glass lab. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching.